And we're back. That's kind of fine. It's only an hour and a half, though. That yellow thing needs to be slightly brighter. I didn't notice it. But at the very least, it's not like the one time where I had three hours go by. And it's definitely far better than eight hours. So we're doing fantastic. Any improvement on endurance? Well, here's a problem. I wasn't paying attention to your endurance, so I don't know. Um, attributes. Endurance. You're at 1,042. I'll have to remember that for next time, because again, I, I don't know what you had. Um, someone is our fisher. Who is? Coca Cola 5. Water Wizard. Ish Butcher is Dominate. I don't want to tweak that too much. Did you bring a barrel down for the fish? I guess you did. I also am suspecting everyone's sleeping right now. I should probably build like a quick hut to put them in. Build construction wall. Yes and no. I have a better idea than that. Um, I just need something quick and dirty to put them in. Super high priority. I need to make sure there's no trees there later. I'll fit the bedrooms or the beds. Should make sure he doesn't waste his time going back there. This way I can get them beds and like a meeting area inside, even though it doesn't rain here, apparently, so I don't think we care. But I'm assuming that not sleeping with a bed is not a good thing to be doing. Especially want to risk the chance of a bunch of doors being outside asleep when something attacks. Uh, table, table, chair, chair. second room and that can be the dining room so it's easier to put them together and then later on when we move them out of these rooms we will uh, turn this into the graveyard where we put all of our caskets this is true I didn't think to do export legends at the beginning of this to see how everyone was doing I'll have to remember to do that at the end of this We can see what we have for a civilization. All right, start setting these up as little baby bedrooms. We're gonna be needing a farm soon. We're getting low on drinks. So I kind of need a lot of this to get emptied out. No rush. I don't hate you. Uh, build farm plot. Let's just build a farm now as I wait. Oh my God, I can't even build on all of this. Jesus Christ. Fucking with me? Usually I do 10, that's gonna be 12. We'll work for now. We have a farmer, right? Steven Robert Four. The Woodcutter. How did Sue Loic? I made the carpenter, not the woodcutter, be the fucking military dude. The whole time it was supposed to be Steven. <laughs> uh, 
whole time Steve is the one with the axe like I could probably ch chop some things and see Loic's like nope I'm the boss I'm the boss today <laughs> <laughs> Fix this now. <laughs> Make me a military. Well, now what? I can beat him in a fight. So, question: How many axes do we have? Um, they count as weapons, right? We have four. We have two axes and two picks. So here's what I'm going to do. Suloic, you're the expedition leader, so I'm going to replace you as militia leader. I'm going to make that be uh, Stephen Roberts. Mostly because I, I'm going to have you both in. You do have skills. Uh, military. Domine. Where are you? Is I only, oh, Suloic, there you are. Mostly because I... The woodcutter's gonna be getting natural proficiency with axes. And I might need you to be doing carpentry at some points when I'm attacking. So if something were to happen, I could pull you off and I don't want to have to redo the whole thing. I need to collect plants. DP. There are plants. Give me some plants. Ah, we have migrants. I will open up the command. Wait, wait. I need them in. I need to be prepared in case there's like three. I don't need nine of you guys trying to get dwarfed. We went from seven to 15. All right, we got plenty of spaces. Um, that's over here. All right, dwarfing command is now active. What do we get in anyways? I'm gonna have to start setting up people. A peasant, so you're a hauler. Also, day spast 76. You're already level 14 at mining. Jesus Christ. We got a legendary stone crafter mechanic, siege engineer, siege operator, pump. What the fuck are you? You're a grease monkey, buddy. You have you have you've earned that. You have earned grease, grease me. Uh, who is a speedy noob? Speedy noob. I got you, buddy. Dwarf number four, one, two, three, four. Speedy noob, you are the one and only person that I've already said as a hauler. You are in fact so speedy that you don't have any fucking skills. And uh, we're gonna use you for now to carry things. Speedy noob is in Harold Beaver. You got nine, seven, eight, nine. Harold Beaver. You are a weapon. Why are you so legendary? You're a weaponsmith who also burns things. Okay. Harold underscore beaver. That's an underscore, right? That is an underscore. Uh, after Harold Beaver was Hellfire Skyrim getting dwarf two, who is legendary weaver. You're going to be making our clothing for us. Hellfire, Skyrim, got a two. I'm a noob, so I wouldn't have skills. Vampire, that sounds very percent accurate. Oh, no, we don't have any, but two. Oh, yeah, I should turn off the green curse thing. If we do get one, I don't want to be cheating. I turned that on because we were trying to track down whether or not the spread had worked. Is that another hamster? Is that another hamster that are Two brave, brave dwarves could put to an end. They bravely ran away, away. They bravely killed the hamster. Let's see if our dwarves are heading towards them or not. Oh, we're gonna need more beds because we got 15. So we already had, what, seven? Four, five, six, seven. I will need eight more beds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Table chair. Build table. Table. Chair. Chair. 
All right. I'm assuming our military is making their way to the hamster. Wherever they are. Oh, this guy up top. All right. Who's here already? Sue Loic's already on the case. Steven Robert, despite having proficiency with the axe, is lagging way behind because he must not have the endurance. Sue Loic has decided to wait a sec. I like how Suloic does these weird charges and then stops. And it, you know what it is? Suloic's trying to run in for combat and then Steven Robert's like, hey, wait up. I want to do something. And then I think Steven Robert's stealing the kill right now. <laughs> Steven Robert told him to go ahead and try to steal the kill. I like how, what is going on? I feel like they keep getting confused. The hamster's nowhere near where they are half the time. I, I like when you see them do the random charge. Oh, something messed it up. Something randomly got a little close to that hamster. Where is he now? Okay, there he is. Our two brave military. Oh, oh. Oh, I feel like he, he got a hit. I think I heard a hit sound. Uh oh, too low, it's scared. Too low, it's too scared. All right, he, he's back. She is. Suloic is back. Steven, I think, kept chasing it the whole time. All right, they got it pinned in the corner. If they're smart, they can't get away. I don't understand what happened there. I feel like somehow Suloic chased the hamster around Steven Robert. So Steven Robert couldn't help. Either that or Steven Robert just didn't pounce when he should have and let it go by. Oh, this is definitely a dead end. It can't get away now. It swam across the river. All right, I'm going to cancel the kill now, then. I don't want them trying to get across that river. It literally went across the river to get away. That's amazing. I don't want any part of this. Oh, God, no. I just um, won't read the Legends maps. That's a problem. Oh. Another hamster, my legs. Oh, by the way, where are we at? 42, we wanted to check the endurance gain, see if it did anything. Uh, uh, Domine, since we knew you. Yeah, Domine, that, you're, you're gaining. Whatever number you were, it was like, what? It was low, right? And now Steven Robert, who is bad, is 307. We'll have to track Steven Robert the next time we send a fight out. But your number went up, right? It was like 1,024 before, now it's like 1,700. Was that before or after this latest one, too? Am I crazy? Or did that go up by a bunch? 307 endurance. I'm sure one of these days you'll get a few jogs on. You just gotta learn. So, um, Craftsdorf is going to make... Stop. Cancel. Craftsdorf is gonna make bone bolts. They're garbage, but at some point we'll have hunters and they will be useful. Now, this room can be expanded into a dining room. And it is also a meeting hall. Boom. More beds will be built. and will be assigned on a one-by-one -one basis. Now we have a meeting hall. We don't need everyone outside. Now I made a slight mistake assuming that stone was just gonna be really easy to get. So... I might end up, when we've dug a little bit of this out, I might end up, oh wait, we had two mines, right? We had two picks. Is anyone even remotely good with a mine? Does not matter, I don't care. Um, where is Noob? Where is Sir Noob a lot? 
This is gonna be the farmer, Steven Robert. You don't have to worry about that skill anymore. Um, we don't need a hauler hauler right now. We have too many jobs we need to get done. Where did noob go? Speedy noob, you are second mine king. Congratulations. Because we had another pick lying around, if I recall correctly. Yay. <laughs> this is the closest the actual me this game has gotten. I'm sure you have better than 307 endurance. All right, we will resize this. So now we should have 15 bedrooms. ZXB. 15, 15 built bedrooms, 15 bedrooms, three unowned, or 12 unowned, 16 units, 13 units without bedrooms. There's a child. I don't care about the child. I was like, how do these numbers not match? It's because there is a kid. Of course there is a kid. Are we not eating those plants? I expected us to be eating plants. Build workshop still. I thought we were going to be eating plants so I could have seeds. I need, I need shit now. Do we have a guy to do brewing? Um, cause this is what's gonna get us. Steven Robert is our alcoholic of the evening. Uh, Fezzy does jeweling. I'm gonna switch you to a brewmaster, Fezzy. I really need a brewmaster right now. And Steven Robert has a bunch of things on his head with cooking, furnace operating, being in the military and wood cutting. So you are now my new brewmaster. Brew drink from fruit, brew drinks from plants. Put these on repeat as much as I can. Carpenter, I think it's the carpenter. I need a jug. It's not you, it's a craft dwarf, isn't it? Of course it's a craft dwarf. Wood, and by jug I mean pot. I'm not stupid. All right, I think most of this outer mining has been completed. So we need to do like mining for stone type stuff. So up here, unrelated to things, I am going to do a ramp into the earth. And this is where I'm gonna get some of my stone from so I can start prepping this area over here. Because I need to remove this. What it is, is if anyone recalls, the outer wall of the pyramid was the outer wall of, of the triangles was the outer wall inside the triangles. So when I get rid of this, I need to be able to replace this with something. So I need stone, because we don't have enough wood. The place doesn't grow wood. I can't set up a living uh, triangle until I get the stone. With the guilds, that child can learn something good. What donation thingy? I think so. <laughs> Explain to me which donation thingy you're talking about. Um, donate, much appreciated. Use the stream elements. That looks like it works. Donated activity feed. You're right. Why doesn't that work? Hold on, hold on, I can fix that. I know what happened. I know what happened. That, that one is on me. I think I know what happened. I think the donate thing I configured for bits and didn't think to configure it for raw donations as well. You have to remember a lot of the things I configured myself. So there's likely to be a few whoopsies. I have a cheer alert, which should have been a tip alert as well. 
Oh, I'm a moron. All right, hold on. I think I can fix this. Tip alert. Set video. Which one of you is the rings? All right, here's what I'm going to do for you. You're right. I, I didn't know this treated them as two different things. I am going to run a custom cheer alert. So we can get a video going. I feel kind of bad. Um, Custom cheer event. Username of... I'm sorry, I feel really bad about that. Yeah, there's a few gaps in the system. The speedy noob. Why does that treat us two separate things? I should just be allowed to be like, look, what one is the other. The speedy noob. Mount one. And because I see what you did. It's supposed to also do text to speech. Kind of part of this. Control C. Control A, Control V. Period. We have a slight issue. Where that didn't go all the way through, did it? That's supposed to go all the way through. I can do it on one, but I can't do it on the other. I feel bad. I feel bad. Um, I can do it emulate, but it doesn't appear to emulate it in the main screen. I don't know why. Emulate tip event custom. The speedy noob. That's so weird. Well, that's how you convince people to be thankful. That's how you convince people to be thankful and contribute to the stream. You, uh, you just fuck everything up and you don't give anyone credit for anything. You just, you just laugh at them trying to be nice to you. It does work. I do see it. I do thank you. I don't have a thing set up, apparently. The actual scripting thing had it as a different check mark and I don't have the ability to copy it over. I only set it up as cheers, not tips. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that doesn't go all the way through. My. Fuck. That is so derp. I don't, I, I don't, I do not have a way right now to put that all the way through. I'm so sorry. I can't fix that. I feel really bad about that. Are there everything I did to get all the alerts? Oh, wait, no, maybe I can. Hold on. I see the ring now. Shit. Fuck. I'm going to die over here. Ah. Hold on. All right. Turn on tip alert. Should have been on to begin with. Uh... Video volume control zero, ring drop audio. Tip alert. Video volume control. Eh, we'll, we'll put this at 25. Whatever. Which one is ring drop? Submit. Save. Text to speech should be set already. We'll go with this. It's not perfect, but I think I got something working really fast. I think I got that working. Also, an anonymous cheer cheered the 100 bits. I missed that in the middle. I thought I had done that. Thank you. All right, fuck it. The text of speech didn't work. I didn't get that configured in time. It said, cheers, mate. Currently my favorite streamer. You're the first person I've ever donated to. Thank you so much for supporting. I apologize <laughs> that I didn't think far enough ahead. I just, 
I set it up for cheers. And then someone anonymously cheered. And they didn't have a message with theirs. I will have that fixed by next stream though. I don't like things being wrong. I will definitely have that fixed by next stream. I feel legit bad. Well, no, because like if someone follows or subscribes, those are alerts that I've animated. The ring one, I have not animated, admittedly. But those settings of shit are all things like, it's not just like, oh, I didn't double click something to install it right. Like I've chosen the words and animated a bunch of my alerts. So if something's not working right, I legit, like that's something I didn't think of, which means I failed to do something. I feel real bad about that one. Yeah, the um, follow alert is the Mario jumping with the actual proper shell noises, mostly. I have to tweak the audio a little bit. And the subscribe is the, the Tonberry alert. I animated those on stream from like sprite sheets and shit and the alerts and the noises and all that good jazz. So if something's not right, that's it's a failure on my end. Thank you, though. <laughs> truly, truly thank you. As, as, as much as my scripting doesn't look like I care, I do. <laughs> thank you for your support of the channel. I find it really weird. I just thought it was like a money alert. I find it really weird. That those are two different alerts. Also, how many versions of sand can you have? Sandy clay, clay, fire clay, silt. All right, I should rephrase that. How many versions of clay can you have? That should be the question. That was me, lol. It wasn't meant to be. Oh, that was you both times. Okay. Cannot write field view screen export graphical map set set ID X not found in two more lines of stuff. What? That is weird. Why does it go anonymous? <laughs> I don't know. That one, the anonymous thing I blame Twitch for. I know the cheer thing works. Whatever is going on with Anonymous, I blame I blame Twitch. They're doing something weird today. Someone, someone, I think it was Steven Roberts. Someone subscribed or cheered earlier and it gave me an emote of something else. So they're clearly doing something weird. I don't know what they're doing weird with it. Do you play other games? Do you play any other games other than Dwarf Fortress? Yes and no, depending upon what your question is. Personally, do I play games that are in Dwarf Fortress? Yes, all the time. Do I stream games that are in Dwarf Fortress? Yes, when I have the time to do them all. Right now I'm doing school and I am trying to get a bunch of backlogs and stuff onto YouTube. I have a massive stream backlog that I'm needing to get to YouTube. So that's taking precedence and I'm constantly like juggling different projects and I'm slowly behind, but I'm I'm catching up. Like I said, in 48 hours, I had edited and uploaded 24 hours worth of videos, which is something. Um, so that's taking up a lot of the midweek time right now, not counting school and work and that good jazz and holy shit, is that all iron? Magna Titan by Tuminius Cole. Mm. Mm, that just doesn't make you happy right there. Straight in. Mm, straight into coal and iron. God, that shit's glorious. Makes me proud to be a dwarf. Um, So right now, no, I'm only doing Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress will always be Saturday, 4 p.m. to midnight. When I have availability in the middle of the week, I do do other games and streams. Uh, when I had winter break in January, Monday was my creative stream, which is when I animated and did the Tomberries and shit live, and everyone could see me not understand how After Effects or Premiere worked, but over the course of a couple hours, you know, got it to work. And then Wednesday was my RPG slash fantasy day, where I do like Final Fantasy or some other day, where we all learn, and say it with me now, 
Fuck Alphano. That's right. Fuck Alphano. You did get it. <laughs> Straddle that sensor bar. Oh, just go straight to the other world like bugger it. Fight all the demons. Fear the clowns. Fuck. Fuck Alphano. That's right, boys and girls. Fuck Alphano. <laughs> Alphano sucks. Trying to see if I can find like regular stone. Because it said like cobaltite and marble and shit. I would love to build this out of marble. All right, well, I did find stone. What is this? Rock salt. What does rock salt become? What color stone is rock salt? Might have to like go a bit wide to see if I can get some of that sweet, delicious rock salt. Oh, have I discovered more magnetite? Dear Lord, there's plenty of iron in this map. All right, let's go wide and see what we find. The rock salt layer. Probably a salt color. Shut up. Friend, I know what Alphano is. I'm sorting the other legends info right now. Probably a salt color. So, Final Fantasy XIV, there is a, uh, which is the MMO Final Fantasy, or second Final Fantasy MMO. There is an NPC you always have to deal with called Alphano. On one stream, I was pointing out that Alphano is a horrible recurring character. I hate him and everyone else should. In that stream, we had to help Alphano. By the end of Alphano's story, like I did him for, we'll say three hours, and I did his sister's story for three hours. By the end of Alphano's story, we discovered a village, wasted a bunch of time, helped someone who wasn't helping themselves lie to get them into a village, revealed that he was a liar, got him kicked out of the village, so now he wants to commit suicide, and us kicked out of the village, so now the village is an enemy to us. We learned nothing other than there. Oh, and these two people who were nice to us, we got them kicked out too. And we discovered that there was a half dragon lady who had throat cancer. So they were going to put her down. That's what we got out of Alphanos. Like literally everything he did, he, he didn't do anything. He kept making us do it. He took all the credit for it. And at the end of the day, uh, nothing got done and we, we were in a worse position than when we started. Then we went and did his sister's, oh, and he was a delivery boy. He'd been stuck there for months and the highest he'd attained was becoming a delivery boy. And we find his sister, she's like the head of this hospital taking people, taking care of people in like the last hours of their life before they turn on this horrible creature and need to be put down. And then it turns out she's going around fighting people. Like she's in charge of it and fighting monsters to keep everyone safe on her own. Everyone loves her and they're looking up to her. She has an assistant and her assistant gets slightly bitten, gets infected and fucking Cthulhu body horror transforms in front of us, goes, I'm sorry, and flies off like some weird horror movie-esque fucking monster. Fuck Alphano. Literally Alphano's entire thing was a waste of time was a waste of time and immediately his sister was far more competent and had a far more interesting story. Alphano is just a horrible character and the people in the game know he's a horrible character. You are the hero. You are the hero of light. Everyone knows this. And then somehow he keeps pretending like he's in charge and he tells you what to do. The other characters even recognize this and make fun of him for doing this. Yet somehow he's always in command. He is a horrible character. And I think he's a horrible character on purpose. Like, I don't think it's like, oh, the authors don't understand that he's horrible. Like I said, other characters make fun of him. His friends make fun of him. For some reason, no one will put this man down. Yeah, his sister is great. His sister's fantastic. There, there's like a plot point where he's like, okay, there are three villages. There are three townships and they are resisting the evil empire. But the problem is, is they will only work together like right before the evil empire fights until there is imminent proof that they are under attack. They will not fight together. 
So his idea is, okay, if they won't fight together or they won't train together before it's imminent, what I'm going to do, workshop Mason, what I'm going to do is I am going to create my own army. I'm going to create an army that's not beholden to any of these three uh, city states. And I will have this army training all the time. Now, where do we get these people who are good at fighting that aren't already in the military? Oh, I know. We'll hire all of the rogues. We'll hire the thieves. We'll hire the bodyguards, the bouncers. We'll hire all the refugees. We'll hire anyone who's done fighting, but uh, isn't in the military. This is who we're gonna hire. Okay, what are you gonna pay them with? Oh, I know. One of the city-states has a horribly corrupt merchant guild that keeps trying to kill the queen. We'll use them to finance us because we nearly got them executed and in trouble. And as a way to prove they turned over a new leaf, they swear that they've turned over a new leaf. They're gonna finance us financing the corrupt thieves so that we can train them into a military. So when it turns out that the military is corrupt and when it comes down to it, they listen to the corrupt merchants and not Alphano and they frame you for everything and they try to kill you, Alphano gets depressed because golly shucks, why didn't the power of good prevail? How could bad things happen to me? How could this happen to me? It's, it's literally, that's like an entire expansion is dealing with that plot line. Everyone can see this coming. It is the dumbest shit. And he spends an entire fucking expansion moping around. Like, literally like, oh, shucks, I'm depressed and sad because my plan didn't work and who could have predicted that my plan wouldn't work? He spends an entire expansion where you have to, like, baby him and, like, you're doing other things too, but you keep having side quests where you gotta make him feel better. Make him realize there's hope for humanity. He's literally useless. Everything that man touches in the entire game falls apart. And so he keeps being in charge. Um, do, 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 do. Where's gold? I want to see if I can trade for gold, please. Please give me your gold. I will trade for gold nuggets. And you have bars of metal. There, there's more to my hatred for Alphano. Just give me a sec. Metal bars, gold bars. That's literally all I want. Um, Alphano as a class is, he is the class that is a DPS slash healer, except he's his own variant with some weird fucking mutated monsters. And he doesn't do either of these really well at all. Like, like he's the healer class and he cannot support. He is garbage at the one class that he's supposed to do because he has these weird non-monsters. He has like different ones. He has different carbuncles and shit instead of what he's supposed to. So he's fucking pointless. His sister, on the other hand, invented a class. One of the playable classes you can play as is the Red Mage, who does black magic, heals, does melee, does all of it fan-fucking-tastically. It is a fucking power cla power powerful class in its own right. And you as a player, it's so good, you can choose it as a playable class, and there are players who main that class. His sister invented shit out of thin air, and it's viable, and you can do it. He does a class that you just kind of get, you can just kind of get from the beginning, and he is so bad at it. He is so bad at it, I don't think anyone would want his weird mutated little fucking red dog. He's awful. Everything he does is awful. Funny thing is, this is off of Final Fantasy Tactics. It's the same realm. Final Fantasy Tactics led to something, which led to 14. They're technically part of the same storyline, I think. Final Fantasy 14 is, is it thousands of years before or after Tactics? I forget. <laughs> One, take those out. Yeah, 
I didn't play too much. Okay, that's fine. Not everyone can. It, it, it is not everyone's bread and butter. I'm not gonna be like, how dare you? Unless you say like Alpha No. In which case, we're gonna have to go on a witch hunt around the world. Nicholas Cage ain't gonna save you. No amounts of national treasure will end the ire of us ending your existence for liking Alpha No. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but here's the thing, like everyone else has better plots. That, that like, that expansion's plot is primarily driven by Alphano, and everyone agrees it's the worst expansion. It is the worst storyline and the worst expansion. The, the, the next one uh, was basically the Eastern Oriental expansion. Uh, that plot is like kind of mainly done by his sister, if I call correctly, for what parts are done by people you know. And it's far better, far better. It was fantastic. The, the, the current one that I've done when I had the time to do it is a little bit of him and his sister. So the storyline involving him sucked and the storyline involving his sister was amazing. The real problem is as it is a Final Fantasy, an RPG and an MMO is it takes a little bit of time to play. Like a lot. Like I think once school started again, I haven't continued playing it just because of how much it takes to play. He's extremely well written. Lies. These are all lies. He looks stupid too. <laughs> I'm just saying. He looks stupid. All right, channel those down. Dig all that out. And then we'll only do the outer walls. I'm gonna need more rock salt, but this isn't bad. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have to trade this, exchange this for gold at some point, but it's a stone wall, which means, how far down was this? Hold on. One, and I'm from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of sea levels. Um, I think, if we go off the middle, here's my thought. If we go off the middle of this, we're about here. There's no way that this is where the triangles are. So if I just do a gigantic hole here and dig down, we'll make good progress towards getting the stone like right here. Because remember, the, the middle part's supposed to end up being like a giant triangular thingy. How are we doing? Drinks are low. Fantastic. We don't have plants no more. Strawberry plants. Grow me the strawberry plants. We don't have no more plants. We don't have that good plantings. How are we doing on other things? Fish is none. All right, something is wrong here. Oh, I forgot that we don't have the right thing. Um, We have a fisher. He's not fishing. This says it has a fishing of zero. I was not anticipating this. Why is this fishing of zero? Alphano tipped a dollar? How? Who and how? Which one of you bastards? I know you aren't talking trash about me. I'm a well-written character integral to the story. Which one of you awful bastards did this? <laughs> Fuck. He is not integral to the story. Why can't I fish here? I've never not been able to fish in a river before. I'm genuinely confused. Even if this was salt water, I should be able to fish in it. How can you not fish a river? Oh, see, now it says it can. What counts as fishing?
Bye. Might have to move the fishing system over. I don't know where is... Why can I fish there? But not here. Is that over water? Um... But see, it's not the whole point. Somewhere down here, the water becomes unfishable. And then up here... You're just, you're just fine. No. There's a weird gap in the middle that you can fish. And only in that weird fucking gap. What is going on? This is weird. I have never seen this before, ever. All right, remove zone. Uh... One, two, three, four, five. That's where the fishing hut has to be? I've never seen that. Why? Why is this the only area you can fish in? Where is this? This is the middle of the five area. This doesn't line up with anything. Sometimes, sometimes making it work's gotta trump everything else. Sometimes that's gotta trump. Whatever the hell is going on here. Two off of the bush. No construction floor. Two off of the bush. It's one, two, three. If I have to go all the way out, I will, but... I'm gonna save. I don't understand what's going on. Hey, Grogren, welcome to the stream. Grogren, you didn't type an exclamation mark the first time. You should have been able to get dwarfed. Yep, there we go. You got dwarf number 12. You're gonna give me a second. It's saving and it's a new version, so I don't wanna I don't wanna risk the stability. Alright. You got dwarf number 12, 5, 10, 11, 12. Grogren, you are a legendary weaponsmith and also a passing wood burner. How are you doing, Grogren? Have you been fine? Have you been realizing that Alphano is a horrible character? <laughs> nice. That's me, super nice. Do, 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 do. Okay, the game crashed while trying to export the Legends info, so it looks like you won't be able to learn about your dwarf from Legends viewer. All right, well, that's not the way for that to get stable. I'd say no to Final Fantasy 14 and Final... I say no. And 13. <laughs> to be fair, everyone says no to 13. All sane people say no to 13. I, I had a dude in the military with me who f fucking defended 13. That dude was bonkers. Something was wrong with him. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but something was, bo something, something was wrong with him. He thought it was a fantastic game with depth. And I thought he was high. We'll have to do it sometime. We can all suffer together. We can all play Final Fantasy Hallway. It'll be great. Final Fantasy 13. All right. Final Fantasy 13 is a prime culmination of dumb ideas. Dumb ideas. I would like to address something. Some Final Fantasies have been sequels to other Final Fantasies. Like Final Fantasy 2, I think, was a sequel to 1. And then, like I said, Final Fantasy 14 is really technically a sequel to something that's a sequel to Final Fantasy Tactics. So the idea that Final Fantasies are related to each other is not completely unheard of. When Square Soft went bankrupt because of that stupid Final Fantasy The Spirits Within movie, um, they... The next game they made was Final Fantasy. So they made Final Fantasy X, made a movie that bankrupted the company, and then they made a sequel to Final Fantasy X called Final Fantasy X-2. Yes, Final Fantasy X for X-2. 
That was the beginning of the downfall. That was that was when we had Square Enix. Or Squeenix, if you realize that they make stupid, stupid choices in life. That was Squeenix. Now, that led down this weird thing where, for some reason, they kept trying to re-toy with the idea of, instead of coming up with a different Final Fantasy every time, why don't we just, to save money and story, why don't we just make the Final Fantasies be together? They kept calling it like the Crystal Chronicles or the Crystal Enclave or some goofy name. They kept trying to come up with this thing where all the Final Fantasies had to be together or the ones they were making in the future were going to be together. So after that, they did 11, which was an MMO and they did pretty decently. Then they did 12, which was a single player game that they made act like it was an MMO and you weren't the main character because you were playing it like you were in an MMO, but the game had to have a story because it's single player. So someone else was the main character. I don't, no one knows what the hell is going on in 12. 12 is just boring. It just doesn't make sense. But then they decided to come up with Final Fantasy Crystal whatever. And they had announced like seven games that were gonna be Final Fantasy 13 just to set the idea for the freaking bureaucratic nonsense that's doing this Final Fantasy game. So Final Fantasy 13 is supposed to be creating a world, a world that they can do like four other games on. They like Final Fantasy 13, 13 2, Final Fantasy Versus 13, Final Fantasy Crystal Fight 13, Exodia 13, 13, 13, Crystal McChrystal fuck. Like, they were trying to create a platform of games. They were trying to create... Like, if Final Fantasy is an intellectual property, they tried to use Final Fantasy 13 as a jumpstart for an intellectual property inside an intellectual property. Where they're going to have Final Fantasy games, they're going to have Final Fantasy 13 games. So 13 wasn't by itself designed to be a game. As goofy and stupid as that sounds. It was not designed to be a game. It was designed to be very good at telling a story so that they could sell the other games when they came out. Ah! What ended up happening is they have a fucking awful story. They have an awful story that they crib noted from every other Final Fantasy they could. Because, again, why bother to create a new story? They crib noted every character from every other Final Fantasy. Every plot point in that game exists in some variation in all the previous Final Fantasy games. They just remixed every, every successful idea from every Final Fantasy into one game to try to set the groundwork of a new realm so they don't have to come up with new stories to make a new game. In order to make sure that this was perfect and, like, everyone beat it, and you had it at the exact right pacing, they turned it into a hallway. Every map has one exit, has one entrance, and one exit. If there's a way to leave the path, it goes five feet so you can find a chest, and then it comes back to the path. They got rid of towns. They got rid of the ability to go into towns to buy and sell things because that would require exploration and we can't have you exploring. We need you to want to explore in the other games. So they got rid of doing things in towns. While you go into a town, really, you're just in a town themed hallway. If you're in a fucking forest, you're just in a forest themed hallway. All the monsters are already on the field. There's no random fights. You will fight the exact amount of creatures you need to fight to be the right level by the time you hit the boss. It is boring. It is nonsense. You don't even get to control all your characters. You control one of the characters and you set up groupings of your character classes. So you're like, oh, this is gonna be the Vanguard class where two of the characters are DPS and one of them is a healer. Or no, this is the one where we are turtle and that's where all three of them have switched to the tanking class. So, but all the characters individually for their stories are good at different things like would make sense, but that's not how you really set them up. Sure, you might be able to set the healer as the best healer, but you're going to need him to tank at times. And they have fights that are designed around this concept. So even as you try to maximize what he can do, you can't. You 
you because you, you don't have enough experience to maximize them that far. You get to a point and it's like, oh, there's a gate. You can't go past this gate until you beat the story. You like you need to beat this dungeon boss to get past this part in the leveling. Oh, well, there's more monsters to fight because you're not there yet. And there's a monster in your way, which means you have to build wide. You're not allowed to build tall. You have to build him equally as boring in every class as you go through part by part. And these priests set out fucking hallways. And the only place to get better is occasionally the monsters drop this weird material and you use it to feed your gear. And you feed organic gear to build a multiplier. And you feel mechanical gear to turn the multipliers into a raw base number so that your weapon gets stronger. All in all, so that by the time you fight a freaking boss, you have just the right amount of experience and skills to beat the boss after about 20 minutes of fighting, if you know what the strategy is. For an entire game. And then it didn't sell well. Nobody wanted it. No one liked the main character. Nobody liked the game. But they'd already done all the marketing. They'd already started doing programming, laying the groundwork for the other games. So they had to make the other games. So they made Final Fantasy 13 2. The sequel, the one that was supposed to be the game based on 13, but 13 was already so fucking boring, nobody wanted to play 13 too, so it didn't do well either. Though admittedly, it is a step in the right direction from 13. Yes, I played all three of them. No, I have not beaten all three of these. Final Fantasy Versus 13, I think became part of the Disgaea series? Not Disgaea, um, Final Fantasy, it's a, series where all the people come together and they just fight. It's a D word, I think. I forget what it's called. So they got rid of, I think, th versus 13, and then they renamed it because nobody wanted to do Final Fantasy 13 anymore, and then the next 13 wasn't Final Fantasy 13 3. It was Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns, where the main character that nobody fucking likes, everyone hates this character. She's dull, she's bland, she's pointless. She's now the goddess of death, and the world is going to end, but you have to kill the right people to get them through to the end to maybe save the world, and then you get a happy ending where it turns out everything was Earth. After every fucking boring thing you've just done with their grand it penultimate ending to a Final Fantasy game, the one where you save everybody, is that the main character gets to retire in France. Legit France. At, after every boring choice you can make in the entire thing, the one thing that you just cannot possibly screw up, it is the raison d'etre of any Final Fantasy game, of any fantasy game, is the ultimate epic ending where you are akin to God and you retire in France. The final cinematic is she's on a train in France after three games of the most boring hallway nonsense where they keep convoluting the story to further and further degrees of who cares? Because Final Fantasy games always have convoluted stories. That's just something you deal with. But never before has there been a story that was so actively boring that nobody cared about. And you just dealt with the new gameplay mechanics and what were you rewarded with after three games of Final Fantasy 13? You're in France. Parlez-vous Francais. Fantastic. It is shit. It is an awful game. It like literally of any Final Fantasy game. I rate that on the bottom. I rate it on the bottom. It, it is a shit game. The ending is shit. The second game, as far as I'm aware, is like the best of the three because it's the one trying the most to be a game. The first one is a hallway. Boring. There are certain things that happen in every Final Fantasy game. There are end jokes. The more you play Final Fantasy games, the more you tend to slightly enjoy the other Final Fantasy games because you expect certain characters. This holds true for like Final Fantasy 15 and shit. You expect certain characters. Even if something is different, it will be the same. In every Final Fantasy game, Sid, there's a character called Sid. Sometimes he's Sid Highwind. Sometimes he's got a different name, but there's always a Sid character. He is always going to be related to one of two things. An airship or engineering. This is what Sid does. Th this is acceptable in a Final Fantasy game because when you see Sid, it's like, oh, here is Sid. It saves a whole bunch of you needing to pay attention because you already know who or what a Sid is. The music is always 
thematically similar. This is key for anime. This is key for movies and TV shows. If a character has a theme song and you hear that theme song, you know the characters are there. One of the terrifying things in Game of Thrones is the song Reigns of Castamere. A lot of people tend to not notice it at first, but eventually you understand the song. So many people filled their pants at the Red Wedding when they heard the Reigns of Castamere. You didn't need someone to tell you that bad shit was going to happen. You heard the music. The characters heard the music in universe. They started wondering, why would someone play the Reigns of Castamere? There are certain thematic elements that mean things. And Final Fantasy, even though all the games are different, the themes are the same. Certain music means certain things. Variations of the chocobo music are allowed to exist, but it's always about a gigantic yellow bird who goes running through the wilderness. It's a nonsense and it's a nonsense song filled with noises, some weird stepping beat, and weird quays of birds making bird noises. That's the chocobo theme. You need to have the right music. You need to have, like, there are themes that happen. They got rid of the dude who does the music for Final Fantasy 13. They didn't bring him in for that one. So all the music sounds wrong. They added the lyrics to the Chocobo theme. Later on, they remixed the Chocobos. So BT dubs the Cho. If anyone figures out that the Chocobos, what the Chocobos real name is, the world will end. And then by the third game, someone figured out what the Chocobos name was. So now the world's going to end. Chocobos aren't the harbinger of death. They're stupid yellow birds that you waste hundreds of hours breeding to you get one that's gold. The default bird is yellow, but somehow you breed them through different colors and you get one that's gold. And that one's like the strongest one and it gets to fly better. It's the flying one that flies better than all other chocobos. It's a stupid bird with a stupid awesome song. And they gave it lyrics and they made it be the harbinger of death. But not really, it's not bringing the world, just the world has to end if someone figures out what the bird's name is. Because in the second game, it's a chick who's a bird. It's a humanoid bird thing with a name. What was it in the first game? Oh, that's right. It was a regular bird who was sitting, who was living in a dude's afro, just shitting everywhere. Does that make sense? No, but neither does Final Fantasy 13. It is, the, it is the perfect mix of utter boredom and surrealist nonsense you're ever gonna find. It is awful. All the characters that are in it are awful. They're all clearly just robbed wholesale of characters that already exist in previous games. It's not even like, oh, look, this is the quiet kid who's a bit nerdy or something like that. Or, okay, this is the chick who is more vivacious. They have similar animations. They almost have similar, like, lines of dialogue. The main, okay. I'm gonna compare Final Fantasy 14, or not, not 14, 13, the beginning of 13 to Final Fantasy, I don't know why this is 13, three, three is 13. The beginning of Final Fantasy 13 to Final Fantasy 7. They're remaking seven soon. If you, some of you said you hadn't played Final Fantasy, so I'm gonna start with seven. Seven's a classic. Everyone likes Seven. This is why them remaking Seven is such a big deal. It is not my favorite as a side note. Eight is my favorite, though I do still like Seven. I don't think it's blown out of proportion. I just prefer Eight's gameplay better. Beginning of Final Fantasy Seven starts with you as a main character having spiky hair. All right, you are named, hold on. You are named Cloud. You're named Cloud, you have spiky hair. There is a there's a train, you hop around on the train, you pull out a gigantic sword thing, you fight enemies. Okay, makes perfect sense. That's literally the beginning of seven. At some point you meet up with a big black dude with guns and he goes, hey, didn't you, don't you work for the enemy? I hit save on accident, I was trying to hit return, resume game. He goes, are you working for the enemy? You go, I used to work for the enemy special forces, but now I'm a good guy. Final Fantasy 13 start. You're playing as a chick with spiky hair. Her name is Lightning, not Cloud, so it's different. She's on a train. She jumps around a bunch, pulls out a sword, and hits the enemies. Then she meets up with the black dude with guns, and the black dude with guns says, didn't you work for the enemy? And she goes, I used to work for special forces, but now I don't. Don't ask me about my past. I'm here to help you. It's literally the same characters. 
cloud to lightning. She starts on a fucking train. She jumps around killing people. Then she hops off. Then the black dude with guns goes, hey, don't you work for the enemy? And she's like, and they are like, no, I work for special forces, but I quit that. Now I work for you. It's the exact same start. This is what I mean. It is not like, oh, they have the same, oh, look, it's the young character who's naive. No, they have the same characters. It is fucking, it is bankrupt. It is intellectually and creatively bankrupt. It is a horrible game. It's fucking boring. You don't get to explore anywhere in a role-playing game. Your roles are assigned for you. You will max everything out. You don't really get too much variety in equipment. The characters are quick or people you have literally played before. Just they changed the spiky hair pink, cut off the ball sack instead of cloud. And now it's called lightning. That's your main character. All the other characters are the exact same. If I were to look up the list of people, I could probably tell you within like 30 seconds tops of thinking what character they robbed. The main male lead. Yeah, he's this brash dude. He's got like this weird, like fucking beanie hat on. And he goes around, he punches people. Huh? And he annoys the main character. And uh, he's all about that fighting. He's got, he's got that cool Taekwondo, man. Yeah. Final Fantasy VIII. The second or third character you meet is a character named Zell. He's got a weird punk attitude. He rides on a fucking skateboard. He punches things a lot. He collects these books so he can learn better fighting styles and he annoys the main character because the main character just wants to be let alone, but he's a he's a brash hip hoppity guy. Yeah. Literally every fucking character is robbed from a previous Final Fantasy game. It is awful. It is a stupid fucking game. And, and, and the more you play other, like, other Final Fantasies, I, I have talked about this point, the more you play Final Fantasy games, the more you enjoy other Final Fantasy games because they have similar themes. You know what something is. You immediately have an idea. You recognize music, happy music, bad music, shit like that. Even though they, they have, they, thematically, they all have different core base musics. They all have similar motifs. That's what I'm trying to go for. When you, we have no food. We have no food. When you do, we are going to die. Um, when you do fishing, why is fishing not working? Please. Now fishing has stopped. Why has fishing stopped? Oh, we're going to die. Um, the more you play other Final Fantasy games, the more you will hate seven because the more, or, uh, not seven, 13, because the more it will remind you about all the games you did like and then how it's not adding anything new. And if it does do something and it doesn't just feel like a complete and total ripoff, it's because they did it the exact backwards and they did it wrong. They screwed up the music, they screwed up the characterization, they screwed up the story, they screwed up the gameplay. It is awful. And they made like three games of it. They just kept releasing games. Um, as an example of this, as I try to get people to collect plants so I can get food, we are gonna butcher an animal. We have got to butcher an animal. How do I set you for butcher job? Um, manager, manager, manager. Oh, it's because I'm not in the right thing. Animals. Uh, dog, 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 cat, yak, cow, and bull. I kind of like them. I want them to have babies. They already had a baby. That's a poult. I'm going to like that. Reindeer, calf, butcher. Buffalo, bull, butcher. That'll get us some meat. The, mo the, the more you hate the game the more you hate the game. The only things that don't feel like straight ripoffs as opposed to similar motifs don't feel like straight ripoffs because they did it wrong. They just did it exactly wrong. It is a horrible thing. Yeah, Final Fantasy 12 had good gameplay. Look, 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 like, let me make this clear. I know like, not, I'm not gonna go into a full thing on it, but like I half trash talk Final Fantasy 12 in the middle there. 12 was okay. It was just, the story was weird. You were playing the wrong character. If you just played the main character, Final Fantasy 12 would be perfect. You're playing as a character that does not need to exist. That's the only issue I have with 12. Really it. 13 though was awful. The Cydia, thank you. That was the D word I forgot earlier. This is an iron rant. The craftsmanship is of the highest quality. There's a Final Fantasy at the center. The Final Fantasy is screaming. The rant menaces with spikes in logic. It was, it was shit. So you guys know of Cox. <laughs> yes, do you know of Cox? 
No, Jesse Cox. He um he did games with the cynical Brit, Total Biscuit, which is the universal uh, laughing command. That, that that emote is Total Biscuit's head. He did Let's Plays. Like, he has Let's Plays. He has a Let's Play of Final Fantasy 13. He got five videos in, and he uploaded it. He got five videos in. The fifth video ends with him screaming, what the fuck does any of this have to do with anything? Why am I fucking here? And he quit. He quit the game. Jesse Cox, the boisterous happy dude, could not put up with the Final Fantasy 13 series. He did 13 and 13 2. He got five episodes into the third one. He never even got close to the ending. He said, what the fuck is the point of all this? He started screaming at the game. He quit. Then he loaded up a video to see the ending, said that was fucking stupid and refused to play the rest of the game. Yeah, like, I get agitated, so some of you guys are used to me getting agitated and going on rants. If, if, if me doing my normal thing doesn't sell you, it fucking broke Jesse Cox. It fucking broke him. It is stupid. It doesn't make any sense, and it is boring. And like I said, and it just gets really bad at 13. Imagine, imagine, imagine for some reason you are me, and, and, and you are a self-acknowledged, let's say fanboy. If it's a Final Fantasy game, I'll play it. Even if I don't like it, I'll probably play it just because it's fucking Final Fantasy. T hundreds of hours of my life have been enjoyable to this company. If they turn out a bad one every now and then, I'll still get it to support the company. All right? It, I don't know if there's like a lesser thing of fanboy. I don't defend everything they do, but I will get like a lot of their products. What are you still bitching about? Um, What the fuck was I going on with that? Uh. Yeah, so imagine you've done 13 and you've done 13 too. Each game will say it's 40 to 60 hours, depending upon how much sidetracking and quest you're willing to put in there, maybe more. So let's say somewhere between 80 and 120 to 140 hours of gameplay you put in and you do not like this character. And nobody who has really done this game likes the main character. Like the, the universe, a lot of the lore is pretty decent you know, if read by itself. But the main character definitely no one likes. No one likes any of these characters. They're just ripoffs of older characters. It, it, nobody likes these. And the commercial for Final Fantasy 13, like tries to pull a Batman. It goes up to a bell tower and it shows the main character from behind. And she goes, you know who I am. You know why I'm here. Let's do this. Except she has sunglasses on. And I, I, I think the internet had a field day of laughing at that. It was like, no, no, we don't, who, go away. We don't want to do this. It was like the most ballsy commercial I've ever seen where the commercial was the most hated character, perhaps of the entire game series of every Final Fantasy being your commercial point going, you know who I am, let's do this. No, no. Um, Jesse even made fun of that on a couple of uh, the podcasts they did. I'm forgetting what it's called now. The co-optional podcast. Jesse even made fun of that stupid commercial on the co-optional podcast too. He was like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I don't know what they're smoking. Like he nearly pulled a me rant. Like he interrupted Total Biscuit Dodger. And I don't know if they had a fourth person, but he sure as shit wasn't talking during this. Where, where literally you could find a clip, a highlight clip of this on YouTube. If you look it up where he just went on his own tirade of this is the dumbest shit. Someone at Square Enix is smoking something and they need to get them to stop smoking it. Like now this is a commercial nobody wants. This does not convince anyone to buy your product. It is dumb. They had horrible numbers for it. And they base and between how bad 13 was and the fact that the original Final 14 did horrible, because Final Fantasy 14 you play now is a Realm Reborn. It's the second version of Final Fantasy 14. It was just because the mechanics were shit. It's really what it was. It was a decent story. It was just, it was a lot, a lot of micro that didn't need to be there. Um, it's kind of set up like Eve Online was. It's the closest description I can come up with. There's like basically it was an Excel sheet. Uh between how bad the original 14 did and how shitty this 13 series was. Like they came close. Like I think they legit put their company like in major trouble. The only thing that dragged them through that shit storm was Kingdom Hearts. 
it, it was Disney money. If it was not for Kingdom Hearts, they would be bankrupt. That's why they keep showing so much support behind Kingdom Hearts is they literally had to keep doing those games because that was the only thing keeping them from bankruptcy was the Kingdom Hearts series because they just kept making shit in the Final Fantasy one. Which is a side thing is why I don't do Kingdom Hearts because as a Final Fantasy fan, I now resent anyone who got to enjoy Kingdom Hearts because the more they got to enjoy Kingdom Hearts, the more it funded Square Enix not learning and fucking up my game. So screw all you people. I got dumped on so that you could enjoy big fucking flappy web foot Sora, Goofy and Donald flying around in some Lego ship. That, that sweet Disney money. You can never get halfway through seven. See, so yeah, seven is, is a slight, uh, we'll say splitter. Final Fantasy seven was the first Final Fantasy on PlayStation. And because it was a lot bigger, they added a lot of side things. Like a lot. Um, I don't even think there's a speed run to 100% Final Fantasy seven. I do not think there's a speed run. There might be. It's going to be long. Oh, I have gone long. That rant carried me over the hour marker. Well, that's good. That that's in one edit. This is going to be a fun video for people to watch. We're going to take a YouTube break. I will see you guys next time.